Hello all. Welcome to our IT workshop project. In this project, we are all five members and our group number is 16. In this project, our topic is an accurate estimation of air quality using linear regression model of machine learning. In this project, we have to use linear regression and try to minimize our RMSE value in between 1 to 20. The data set is given in the in the Excel file and also the past work is the past work link is also given in the Excel file by our teacher. So here is the past work done by Luca Ansin, who is a machine learning, deep learning and AI in enthusiast. He is from Belgrade, Serbia. So he has used Matplotlib, NumPy, Pandas, Library of Machine Learning in his project. The data set which is used in this project is airqualityuci.xlsx file which is an excel file. So there are 9357 rows and 15 columns in our data set. He has also used Seaborn to plot to graph so here is he has printed all the values of data so here is features and labels so now let's discuss about features and labels features are input to our machine and label is the output of our machine now let's take an example like we have to predict something and we have given some data to our machine so the data given to machine is called features and the predicted value outcome which come from the machine is label so here features date time c6 h6gt and no2 are assigned to features values are assigned to features and label Level is the value of C6 at 6 GT. Now let's talk about take about uh, train and test portions. So here he has used sklearn library and uh, train test split model. So he has also used linear regression in which his R score of linear regression is 0.9992467 six one one six uh, here are some extra library or modules called vector regression tree regression lasso regression and feature selection so here is the graph he has plotted in his code so it's all the work proposed by Luke so now let's go to our project so this is our code in which we have we have uh, predicted more accurately. So we are using matplotlib, numpy, and pandas, and we are also using the same Excel file which Luca has used in this project in their project. So number number of rows and columns are same in our project. We are also used Seaborn to plot graph. And in processing data, we are printed the values. So here we are also assigning the same features like date, time, c6, h6, and the value of no2 are assigned to features, features dot values, and level is, is a, and the value of c6, h6, gt is assigned to level. So by giving input of date, time, and no2, we can predict the value of c6, h6, and here we we have to predict. How, how more accurate we can predict the value of c6 at 6 by giving input date time and no2 now let's go further here we are, we are using test train split model of sklearn so in our project we are using linear regression and we are importing mean square error mean absolute error from the library sklearn matrices so here we have used a uh, random state i for which our data set has to change or we can uh, choose data set from random values 
and here our test size is 0 0.30 which means we are using 30% of the data for testing and remaining 70% of the data for training our machine. So here we have predicted the value of R2, R2 square, uh, score of our value of our, our R2 score is 0 0 0.9992884887143348 which is more than the previous result. Our mean square error is 1.18673479579633301 which you can see in the video. You can also see our mean absolute error in the video which is 0 0.9709 and so on. So the final our root mean square error value is 1.090 oh, sorry 1.0893735795384107 which is in between 1 to 20 or which is minimum so there are some extra modules called linear regression vector regression lasso regression feature selection so here we have also plotted our frequency of c 6 h 6 means we have plotted our features importance and in last we have plotted our linear regression into this graph in which we can see the linearity of our graph so now let's go to our project report so this is our project report which is made by our group in this report we can also see the difference between our graph and the previous graph so this is the previous graph you can see in this part of the graph the line becomes more curved but as this is our graph this is our predicted graph in which we can see the linear lines and there is also some difference between the value of c6 h6 and its frequency in the previous graph and in our graph so uh, that's all i can say about my project Thank you.